spin. Hvad er det, der får gjort det? Der får jeg åndes ved. Uh, out of the box thinking with the sort of reduced amount of staff and same amount of work needing done. Um, plus we're doing a, a new new build and a new 18th green, a new hole and uh, practice facility. So there was a lot thrown in uh, at the time, but uh, thankful we had that work and uh, thankful to be working, but there a lot of challenges. And how how different was it having a, a course without golfers while you were working for the first six six yeah. weeks? Initially, it was great, um, maybe first week or two, but then again, you you put prep the course for golfers to play in it, and uh, an essential part of the, the setup. And uh, actually, listen, to be honest with you, can't believe I said that. <laughs> And uh, since the golfers have, have come back, what's the feedback been like from the, the golfers you've spent out in the golf course? It's uh, been fantastic, to be honest. Yeah, hardly a, a complaint, which isn't the norm. Uh, there's always a gripe about something, but uh, no, it's complaints have been um, few and far between and uh, very complimentary about the courses, which is great. You know, I've had to work a, a few extra hours with being uh, a, few, a few men down as well. How, how tough has that been? I think we've been, to be honest, we haven't really worked any extra hours. Um, it's just trying to get a balance when you know what you can get done with the full staff and uh, just accepting what you can get with the staff that you've got. And that's the hardest thing, um, just turning a blind eye to the stuff that's not getting done and accepting it it's just getting on with it. And how do you feel the courses are, are playing just now, uh, now that we're into the height of the summer? Yeah, initially when we first opened up, you know, I was just shocked how poor the greens were, but it's understandable when you weren't putting the maintenance, maintenance practices in, but uh, now we're putting, putting quite well and the courses look quite well. Um, although there's areas that probably golfers won't see that we're not getting attended to, um, but on the whole we're quite happy with the courses. And the, the changes that have been made uh, over on number three in the, the new practice ground uh, development, how's that coming along? 18 to number three, I don't think it's been there for years. Um, I think the members are loving it. And they've not had any negative views or uh, opinions on the whole, which is very unusual. Um, the new practice facility, although the, the new tee's opened, the new range is opened, uh, the new practice facility isn't opened yet, but it's coming along superbly as well. Stuart, you do a great job in keeping people informed through your, your Twitter, your social media channels. Uh, any advice for other greenkeepers doing that? I think it's a great tool. It's, um, it's, it does reduce the amount of silly questions you get asked um, and it keeps everybody well informed. Uh, so it's actually a benefit to any greenkeeper uh, and to the club. Um, members seem to, seem to like it. And other departments, it keeps them informed as well if they're interested and strike up a conversation about that with members as they're working away. And this time, two years ago, you were working hard at the Aberdeen Standard Scottish Open. Uh, how much of an enjoyable week was, was that at the time? Oh, it was just it's off the scale, really, how much, how enjoyable it is. Uh, getting a chance to on your course in sort of pro tournament condition, which very rarely get a chance to do um, so all the extra staff and just having that level of presentation and the standards expected by pros and just achieving that and having everybody happy in the golf courses and getting great feedback it's, it's just fantastic great experience and just finally over the next few weeks of more visitors coming back uh, what, what's the the plans for for work out in the golf courses in the, in the coming weeks uh, it's just the same as you know it's um it's certain guys are coming back um i think we've got another three guys coming back on august the third and um, so we'll be able to get a wee bit more done and um, but then again <laughs> the flip side of that there's guys that have been working away since lockdown started and they're needing a break so <laughs> Give them one hand and take them with the other, so it's it's a balance in that, but uh, we just do the best we can.